This particle is about transformation of bacteria with plasmid DNA. Heat shock method is a very famous method and it is, is can be easily performed in a lab. In this method, through heat, the foreign DNA is allowed to penetrate inside the bacterial cell. For performing this experiment, we need competent cells and in the previous practical, we have already made chemically competent cells and then a foreign DNA. It can be a plasmid vector or another vector. The plasmid vector is usually containing our gene of interest as well as an antibiotic selection marker. So we start our experiment. We need two things first. Number one, a competent cells which are already prepared and stored on ice or 4 degrees centigrade. And number two, our DNA of interest which is plasmid in this case. We will mix one microliter of plasmid DNA with the competent cells helicot already thawed and put on ice. Then after mixing, this mixture is allowed to incubate in ice for about 20 minutes. Transformation of bacterial cells through heat shock method is called heat shock because we give a, the transforming cell a shock of 42 degrees centigrade. For this we need water bath. So after incubation of competent cells with the uh, plasmid DNA, we will give a shock of about one minute. And we need for this we need to put the bacterial cells from ice into the water bath. For bacteria to survive the heat shock, we have added 1 ml of LB broth and to grow the bacteria, we need to put this append off at 37 degrees centigrade for about 2 hours so that bacteria will multiply and uh, grow. After 2 hours of incubation of bacterial cells, we will spread 100 microliter of the culture on an LB plate. The LB plate should be containing your selection marker like any antibiotic. After spreading of 100 microliter of culture, this need, plate needed to be incubated at 37 degrees centigrade overnight. And after incubation, if your plasmid has been transformed, you will see colonies.
After overnight incubation of uh, bacterial culture, your colonies will appear like this if it has transformed plasmid.